Well, I have to say we probably have evolved from being that silent manufacturer of crystals to perhaps a more loudly speaking provider of jewelry, but also crystals within the fashion industry. And, you know, for us, it's just a celebration of the tremendous amount of care and consideration that we invest in the creation of our crystals. Um, the quality control is superb within Swarovski. And um, I have to say, we're so fortunate to have local families that have worked in this family business for five generations and even refer to the factory or the company as their company. I mean, to me, that's just invalu invaluable. And I can't help but think that that energy goes into the crystal and permeates out. And if it's Versace, Dolce Gabbana, Dior, using that product, you can feel it. How proud do you feel personally as a woman working in the business and the only female member, I believe, mm -hmm. of, of the board there to, to carry the name and to carry the business forward? It's incredible. It's, it, it, I feel so humbled. I feel so honored um, because I am so proud of the hard work and the achievement of my forefathers. They were hardworking people. Um, this is really something that I have seen growing up. Uh, from my father who was in charge of the manufacturing plant for 45 years. Um, the precision, obviously, that it takes, um, the integrity to create a product that's perfect. Um, and yes, in a certain sense, it is a, not a burden, but the pressure is big to carry this into the next generation and really contributing to its success and um, ensuring that we really stick to our DNA, we stick to our values, and we are as relevant today as my grandfather, great great grandfather was 125 years ago when he created the company and certainly was innovation back then that made him even able to exist. And what's really crucial for us is to continuously innovate in terms of our processes, uh, in terms of manufacturing, but also communicating and designing. Talking but I'm proud <laughs> because our product is so positive, you know, and it is about female empowerment. And my grandfather's, great great grandfather's motto was, in 1895, it was pretty much only royalty that wore diamonds. And he wanted every woman to feel what it feels like to wear a diamond. And he made that possible for them. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.